Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. My name is Eric Fredericks, and together with my co-author Byron DeVries, we're excited to present to you our intended technique for applying genetic improvement to procedural story generation. Now, procedural story generation is something that I find fascinating. I really enjoy developing little side video game projects, and this is a way to bring genetic improvement to that domain. Now, the idea here is to take story narratives or little storylets which are basically constructs that we can build out of grammars, apply genetic improvement to it, and come up with a new diverse set of stories for a player to experience that have never really been seen before. So if you're reading over the paper, um, you might notice that the visuals are kind of bland, kind of bare bones, very roguelike-ish, lots of ASCII art and emojis and that kind of thing. I've since updated it. I've been playing around with this this past semester and having lots of fun with P5JS. And I've got a link to the project in its current state. It's not finished, but you're probably more interested in the genetic improvement aspect of it. Now, the idea here was to take a grammar-based system for generating story content, apply novelty search, which is an ev evolutionary computation-based technique for finding the most diverse yet still correct set of solutions, and, and apply that to our language. Now, the idea would be to basically have a novelty function, which is our fitness function in novelty search, try and find the most diverse set of generated stories using word to vec or you know some other NLP-based technique to kind of nicely fit into our fitness function here, and then generate a new di diverse set of solutions. So that's the entire goal, and that's the purpose. We're not quite there yet with the GI aspect, but the, uh, the playability is, is starting to get there. So I would like to thank uh, Bill Langdon for allowing me to explore something interesting for this. I thought it was fun. I am out of time, so please feel free to hammer me with questions now. Thanks, everybody.